Hi everyone. How's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Lies will become even more widespread in the coming year, as we approach the final stretch of the US election frenzy. With less than a year until the next presidential election, there's no holding back, and falsehoods will be flying left and right. While promises and absurdities have already started, they're bound to intensify each day from now on. As always, regardless of the outcome of this and other elections, one thing remains certain. Real change is unlikely. There's no savior, especially in the realm of politics, where some of the most unscrupulous individuals reside. Division will only grow, and the prevailing sentiment among the tumultuous crowd will be hatred, in accordance with the plans of the ruling few. The circus is already in full swing, with the conclusion of the Argentinian election causing libertarians to rejoice. This reaction is par for the course because, despite the unequivocal failure of politics, political systems, parties, and elections, along with the escalating tyranny, diminishing freedom, endless wars, and pervasive surveillance, faith in political saviors, referred to as moronic opium, still has a stronghold on those who propagate the trumpery, pun intended, that things will improve this time around. It's challenging to fathom such a level of stupidity, but believers in government persist in their folly, holding on to the idea that all we need is a better ruler. Outsider candidate Javier Millet, representing the libertarian movement, has successfully clinched a presidency in Argentina, marking a perceived victory for freedom-loving libertarians worldwide. He's pledged what many consider to be highly radical changes for Argentina, including dismantling the central bank and overhauling the economic system. Malay advocates for replacing the peso with the US dollar, despite the latter being a fiat currency facing rapid devaluation and not considered real money. Identifying as an anarcho-capitalist, some of his beliefs align with that philosophy, but he still intends to govern his country with a firm hand. Should he fall short on his promises, he can attribute it to his lack of control over the legislature, providing a convenient excuse. Despite initially expressing intentions to destroy the central bank, Malay now plans to appoint a new central bank head and economic team. Notably, he maintains close ties with Zelensky, a supporter of Ukraine and Israel, indicating a stance not averse to war and genocide. Additionally, he has declared a desire to distance Argentina from countries like Russia, China and Brazil, raising questions about potential contradictions with his professed free market stance. In fact, these statements appear more aligned with protectionism and market control, rather than true anarcho-capitalism. While hoping for positive changes in Argentina's economic situation is understandable given its current struggles, placing faith in the notion that a new leader will transform the country into a beacon of freedom and prosperity solely through an election, is deemed foolish. The example of Malay serves to highlight the inherent folly in trusting any politician, regardless of party affiliation, governing system, or election process. This skepticism is reinforced by the observation that relying on political figures allows the masses, often referred to as societies and nation-states, to escape responsibility for themselves through submission to a controlling circus, a spectacle that persists to preserve their sanity and shield them from reality. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. The upcoming major election in our country appears to be shaping up for a significant rematch between Biden and Trump. Is this the best we can do? 
Are we limited to choosing between two elderly figures who take orders from their masters, dictating our lives, telling us what we can and cannot do, deciding where we may or may not go, determining how much of our belongings we can keep, selecting the wars in which we may risk our lives, instructing us on which innocents to harm, regulating what we can put into bodies, controlling our speech and expression, and influencing whether we can defend ourselves. It sounds like a collective of enslaved individuals, manipulated by a ruling class of demons. In the words of George Carlin, never underestimate the power of stupid people in large groups. Isn't it somewhat comforting that you're not alone in your voting frustrations? How consoling it must be to share your discontent with others, who also believe they get to choose their own almighty ruler to provide everything they need and want. From small towns to mega nation states, people elect leaders like Trudeau in Canada, Macron in France, Merkel in Germany, Sunak in the UK, Albanese in Australia, Putin in Russia, Netanyahu in Israel, and the list goes on. In the American context, both presidential candidates have been part of the system for years, and now, we're expected to choose between the same two individuals who have arguably contributed to the challenges we face. The consequences that follow will be well deserved. What unites these rulers and many others is their shared identity as lying and morally questionable individuals. Elections, it seems, have little impact because the so called useless eaters, as perceived by the ruling class, continue to allow their masters to govern. In doing so, they willingly become servants to those they voluntarily place in positions of power. History has shown us that this arrangement seldom leads to positive outcomes, but don't worry, the optimism persists that maybe this time it will be different. Get ready, because over the next year, you'll be bombarded with political and election propaganda saturating the media. Then, you can head to your local precincts, slip behind the curtain in your voting booths, and perhaps, just perhaps, your chosen candidate will triumph over the opposition, and you can celebrate as if it's 1984. This upcoming presidential election marks the 60th since 1789. However, with each passing election, things have taken a turn for the worse. Freedom has dwindled, debt and monetary inflation have skyrocketed to unprecedented levels, censorship and surveillance have engulfed the entire population, 94% of our existence has been marked by wars of aggression, poverty is on the rise, and various forms of terror have been inflicted upon the people of this country and beyond. Yet, you're expected to select your next political ruler without reservations about this seemingly insane and manipulative process called elections, dutifully obliging your political overlords and saviors. Will it ever end? Will the masses ever grasp that government is not the key to freedom, but rather its antithesis? Or is this destined to be humanity's eternal fate, becoming just another extinct species, the only one to bring about its own demise? It seems that being the only species with the ability to reason may not be all it was cracked up to be. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.